Aeroplanes transport people and cargo from A to B. To do so, they burn fuel, but some of the fuel is also used to move the aeroplane itself. Not all the fuel is burned doing the useful work of transporting people and cargo. Some of it is unavoidably also used doing the non-useful work of moving the plane. Something similar is also true in some electric circuits. In a circuit that only contains a light bulb, for example, all the work is usefully used to create light and heat. But a circuit with an electric motor is different. Electric motors have coils of wire used to create magnetic fields. It is these magnetic fields that make the motor spin. To make these magnetic fields, however, some of the energy needs to be used. This is like the fuel aeroplanes must use to move themselves in order to also move the people and the cargo. We call the energy used to do the useful work in a circuit active power or real power. It is measured in watts and we give it the symbol P for power. We call the energy used to do the necessary but non-useful work, like generating magnetic fields, reactive power, and measure this in volt ampere reactive. We give it the symbol Q. If we add these two together, we get the total or apparent power needed by the circuit. We measure this in volt amperes and give it the symbol S. Just like lighter planes that need less fuel to fly are more efficient than heavier planes that need lots of fuel to fly, so too are circuits with less reactive power more efficient. A greater proportion of the energy is spent doing useful work. We call the ratio between active power and apparent power the power factor of the circuit. We can rearrange this to get active power equal to apparent power multiplied by the power factor. The power factor can also be found by calculating the cosine of the angle theta in the power triangle. You can see that the smaller we make theta, the less reactive power there is, and the closer the values of apparent power and active power get to each other. The smaller we make theta, the closer the value of cosine theta gets to 1. Whenever you calculate power, as voltage multiplied by current, you are assuming a power factor of 1. In other words, no reactive power in the circuit. Almost always though, there is some reactive power, so the power factor is less than 1. Therefore, active power, or just power for short, is voltage multiplied by current multiplied by the power factor. Or, power is voltage multiplied by current multiplied by the cosine of theta. Reactive power can also be calculated from this triangle if need be. Reactive power is equal to voltage multiplied by current multiplied by the sine of theta.